seeing you again. At this point, I would tell you to face each other and join hands, but you've taken that away from me now. So, <laughs> so what I want you to do now is look at the hands that you are now holding. Nancy and Dan, these are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief temporarily comes your way. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will give you support and encouragement to chase down your dreams. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it the most. These are the hands that will lift your chin and brush your cheek as they raise your face to look at the eyes that are filled with overwhelming love for you. And lastly, these are the hands that, even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Man and Hansen, the circle has long been a symbol of God. Without beginning or end, and with no point of weakness. The circle is a reminder of the eternal quality of God and of unending strength. Let the seamless circle of your wedding rings become the symbol of your endless love. Your wedding rings are most special because they say that even in your uniqueness, you have chosen to be bonded, to allow the presence of another human being to enhance who you are. Your rings carry a potent double message. We are individuals, and yet we belong. We are not alone. As you wear them through time, they will reflect not only who you are, but also the glorious you that you are now created. And I have the answer. Dear God, I now ask that you bless these rings and the two who exchange them. Fill them with your holy presence. Keep them safe in the circle of your love and protection. Amen. And as you place this ring on Nancy's finger, I now ask you, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise God, Nancy, and all of us here that from this point forward, your arms may be her shelter and your heart may be her guide? Do you promise to support her and nourish her, and to love and respect and honor her for the rest of your days on earth? If so, please answer now. I do. Nancy, as you place this ring on Dan's finger, I now ask you, if you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, do you promise God, Dan, and all of us here that from this point forward, your arms may be his shelter, and your heart may be his guide? promise to support him and nourish him, and to love and respect and honor him for the rest of your days on earth. If so, answer now. Amen. I'd like you now to please look into each other's eyes. Dan, please repeat after me. On this day forward, I make a promise. Whatever happens, you shall not walk alone. I'll stand by your side and sleep in your arms. I'll be the joy in your heart and the food for your soul. May you feel deeply loved, for indeed you are. Through our brightest days and our darkest nights, I take you into my heart. May God bless us with a great light around our hearts and around our homes. 
I see your beauty, your innocence and light. May it shine. May the world see how beautiful you are as I see how beautiful you are. But may there be a special light that only I can see. I give you my heart. May you feel this joy forever. Thank you, God.